Hi everyone, Garth and Glenn here with you again this week and this week we've got another one. And uh, yeah, TV and movies and Garth, you're going to tell us all about TV and movies. We've found it. We found it, yes. We had a slight hitch from last week. Remember we last did. week we couldn't find our Eat Now program, uh, Eat Now app. Well, we found it. We found it was the best app in Jordan. That's right. And it was the best app in Jordan. <laughs> but uh, what had happened is I decided to uh, <laughs> sign into iTunes and I was in the Jordanese exactly. uh, precinct store. Jordan app store. For so. some reason, he was finding Jordan apps. But yes, <laughs> but just to confirm, dear listener, that, uh, what was it called? Eat Now is definitely available in the Australian <laughs> app store. It is. And you will even get it in English you as will. opposed to some... <laughs> Jordan. Jordanese. Yeah, Jordanese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elvis. So oh. today anyway, though, we are looking at a different app called TV and TV Movies. TV and Movie Guide yes. Australia. Now... It's not a um, big stretch of the imagination to guess what this app does. It's called TV and Movies, um, TV and Movie Guide, and that's exactly what it is. Um, there's lots of strange noises coming. <laughs> <laughs> there is strange noises. Yeah, yes. strange noises coming from here. Push we, through, Garth. Push through. Well, I'm pushing through then. <laughs> okay. So, basically, it's an integrated app to let you check both um, movie times and TV times. Yeah. Um, I had an app from one of the actual cinemas around here that, you know, let you check movie times for that particular cinema. Yep. But what this one does is let you choose which particular channels you like, plus which cinemas you like. Nice. No matter which brand of cinema it is, so it's, you're not, you know, you're not re restricted to Reddings or oh, yep. any of the particular ones, um, the event cinemas or whatever. Yep. So nice. you just go in, you add in the particular cinemas you like to go to, um, the particular movie, the uh, TV channels you like to follow, and... You can see the schedule for either one of those. Um, That's pretty handy, isn't it? It is. It's really good to have it all in the one app. Yeah. Um, of course, you can do all the normal sort of stuff like, you know, punch through from the movie to see the trailers and who's the cast and that yeah, kind nice. of IMDb type stuff. I yeah, think it'll okay. even link you out to IMDb if you want to. I can see the uh, benefit in that for sure. Yeah, but it's handy to have um, that one app. Mm. Um, I don't know that you can actually buy tickets through the app, if you if you do like doing that, you might actually have to go back to the you know like the events in the app yeah. to do that. But um, I don't tend to do that myself anyway. So um, I know I really like it. It's a it's a handy app to have there to just check your schedules. Now uh, TV Guide features. Oh, oh, there's a, they've listed a few here. Yeah, go uh, for it. Swipe schedule up down easy. List all free to wear channels in Australia. Customize to suit your needs. Only view channels you want. So you don't have to view SBS. Land, landscape or portrait, follow your favourite show. They've got a few good shows, actually, haven't they, SBS? They do. They there was do. one on the other night about um, are we still evolving. That was I don't know, are we? What did they say? Uh, well, they found a, um, they found a skeleton believed to be, you know, like 40,000 years old. Mm. And they got some specialist in to determine, you know, a skeletal person. How much? And, well, they just said if you didn't tell me it was 40,000 years, 40, years old, I would have said, yeah, probably 50 years old. So to that end... That was like a strike for we've stopped evolving. Fair enough. Okay. Um, but then again, they Thanks say... Thanks for that little intro. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. But then again, it's not just the it's just not the bone structure. They said, you know, um, uh, we used to be black. Now we're white. So we're still evolving. Skin color is evolving. Because um, yeah. obviously, because yep, there's yep, yep. blah blah blah. But anyway, that's a, that's a story for another time. It but is, uh, I think. yeah, follow your favourite show. Set reminders. Uh, yep. Share recommendations. Send your push notification. That sort of stuff. Yeah. Now the movie guide features view only your local cinemas. As Garth said, daily session times for Australian cinemas, new releases, previews of the releases, top ten movies, trailers, landscape or portrait, and share recommendation to Facebook. Yeah. There you go. If you um, need to do that sort of thing. Now that the full name of that app is because it comes up in the iTunes if you're looking for it and you can't find it. The full name is TV Guide and Movie Guide Australia. That'll be the one. By eBroadcast. Now it's not free. It isn't? No. Oh, I don't even remember. It's uh two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Wow, that's an expensive app. Yeah, well <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I, I you know, seriously guys, if you're out there and you think and you're thinking if you're actually thinking to yourself Geez, two ninety nine for an app. Think again. It's only two freaking ninety nine. That's Buy right. It. Yeah, you're not buying <laughs> one every day. So, but exactly. look, if, if it's going to help you out, why don't you? Why don't yeah. you just spend just a bit of money, get a bit of jump get on a good it. Job. Jump on it. Go so go. that's that sounds good. All right. So that's another that's another great iOS app from Garth, and we'll see you guys again soon. Okay. Indeed. See you later, guys.